Now joining us live is Wendy Terrazas. We just heard from her in today's Kern's Kindness, and she's here to talk a little more about autism awareness with us. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning. Thank you so it's much. It's nice to be here. Yes, I know. It's so great to see you again. Thank you for joining us. We obviously just saw a story air about autism awareness. Could you tell us why is that awareness so important for everyone in our community? I think it's really important that they understand and know um, the characteristics of autism so that when they see uh, an individual with autism in the community that they're a little bit more aware and that they're able to be uh, more understanding for parents and for the community members. I think it's very important. So what are some of those basic things that you think people should know whether their child has autism or they're just seeing a child in the grocery store with autism? Um, some of the symptoms that you'll see is um, that they might have a difficult time communicating um, their needs and wants. They may um, find themselves um, socially disconnected from people around them. Um, children, especially um, if they parallel play with other children, you'll see that they'll play by themselves and not interact with the other students. Um, Social skills is a big component of this and teaching the kids to be able to socially interact. So you may find someone in the grocery store that may not be able to socially interact as well with um, other people. And that's one of the things that we're trying to do within our district um, is to have the kids be able to socially interact with their peers more often and be able to develop those skills to be able to communicate. And so what are some of the signs, you might have mentioned some just now, what are some of the signs parents should be looking for in their own children as they're growing up? Um, you might find a child that um, at a young age may not interact well with others. You may find them um, lining up items or stacking blocks in certain colors um, in repetitive motion. You may find kids that speak echolalic, where they repeat back exactly what they hear. Um, you may find them not speaking at all or very limited speech. Um, those are some of the symptoms that you might want to look for. But a big part of it is that social interaction. Um, you'll find them really disconnected from their, um, their family members sometimes and um, when they get together as groups. Um, they'll find that they're distance themselves from the rest of the group. Okay, and then what are some resources that people should know about if they want to have their child diagnosed or their child has been diagnosed? Um, at three years old, we in the district um, will test them and be able to see if they qualify for services. Um, we start at age three in our district and we have a preschool program available for the students. Um, they can also go to um, a clinical psychologist and have them um, tested as well. Um, Kern Regional Center is a great resource for these parents. Um, they can get um, extra help um, with the students and they stay with them for life if they do have a diagnosis of autism. And then um, Hearts Connection is a really great resource for parents to be able to communicate and connect with other parents that have um, children with autism. Okay, great. Well, we are almost out of time, so thank you so much for joining us today, Wendy. We really appreciate it. And we'll have more information on autism awareness on our website, turn to 23com Thank you again, Wendy. Thank you so much.